Senate protest across Iran. Eyewitness accounts and footage from inside the historic protests. The women defying the regime and the violent crackdown. That's the trailer for the compelling new documentary, Inside the Iranian Uprising, taking viewers inside the protests that have rocked Iran since the death of Masa Amini last September. She was the young woman who died while in police custody after she was accused of not following the Islamic regime's strict dress code. Joining us now is the producer of the documentary, documentary Sasha Joel Achili. And Sasha, I'm uh, Achili. I'm curious as to what we will be seeing in this documentary, um, especially about not just taking us inside these protests, but the changing attitudes of young people and what they're willing to live with. Yeah. So the extraordinary thing about what happened when the protests began was that, as you know, um, foreign media and independent journalists, uh, it's it's very hard for, for them to operate inside Iran. And so when the protests started, uh, Iranian citizens began filming the uprising themselves and filming the violence that was taking place on the streets. And the director of the film, um, Iranian filmmaker Majid Nasi, from the very beginning was spending every night downloading this footage that was being uploaded by citizens on very various different social media platforms, um, despite, you know, internet blackouts. And, um, and what is extraordinary was that this, these protests were led by women, uh, first and foremost, and they were led by a younger generation of women and men um, by Gen Z. And we witnessed, uh, you know, teenage girls going on these front lines confronting um, police, you know, lineups, knowing full well that they'd probably be beaten down and arrested. And yet they are willing to literally sacrifice their lives uh, for to fight mm. for their freedom. Sasha, we've seen since those protests uh, clamp down on the people who were protesting. There's been um, a big uptick in the number of people who have been hanged or executed who took part mm -hmm. in those protests. How much of a sense do you get of, of where those protests are today and what future they may have? So the the street protests have died down, um, but they but Iranians continue to um, to defy the regime by posting videos, especially women of themselves on social media. Uh, Iranian women continue to go out without their hijabs uh, and they continue to try and stand up for what they believe in. And there's, you know, many um, women I've spoken to say that things can never go back to how they were before Masa Zinamini. Uh, died. And so although um, the, the street protests have died down, the violence has died down, they will continue fighting and people are still facing death row. Um, we've had, you know, in June, another seven um, people have been sentenced to death. Uh, and, and there are many more that are facing poten the potential similar fate. Sasha, do the young Mike people Barnett. in the streets protesting what is going on and has been going on for quite some time within Tehran and the rest of Iran, do they have any hope for the future based on demographics? They're young, largely. The ruling elite in Iran is largely very old. They, they are saying that they're not going to leave. They're, they're going to stay in Iran. They're not going to follow the previous generation who tried to leave to make a life for themselves. So they will not give up. They will not give up and they will continue to fight for their freedom and for what they want. Um, and, you know, all, all we can hope is that they will succeed somehow. <laughs> but yeah. Inside the Iranian Uprising premieres today on Frontline's YouTube channel and the website. It premieres this evening on the PBS app. Producer Sasha Joel Akili, thank you very much for coming on the show this morning.